Hey, so MMA Digest sent me some questions to answer uh, about my upcoming fight this Saturday on UFC Vegas Apex 4, I think. Uh, so the questions are, how has training been different for this training camp? Well, I mean, because of COVID, uh, everything was uh, a little different. Gyms were closed. You had to improvise, train however you could. Uh, a lot of people just training at home. So you know, it kind of did our, did our best. Um, gyms opened up last Friday. So I had about two weeks of gyms, uh, back at one of my gyms with extra, you know, precautions and everything added in. So yeah, it, it was different, but it is what it is. Everybody's in the same boat. What are your thoughts on Felipe Linz, the style matchup and how do you see it playing out? Uh, Felipe Linz is a good fighter. He's a jujitsu black belt, but he's a really good striker. He considers himself a striker and uh, so do I. I, I think we're going to have uh, an exciting, fast-paced, technical heavyweight striking fight, and I expect to beat him. How? I'm not sure. I mean, of course, we're always hoping for a knockout, but uh, I ain't against uh, winning a decision and outpointing him. What are your thoughts on fighting at the apex and fighting in front of no fans? I'm here to do a job. You know, I get paid to fight Felipe Linz. It doesn't matter to me if there are fans in the stands or not. You know, fans will be watching on TV instead. Uh, I don't think that that's going to have any effect on me at all. Uh, as a fan watching the UFC, what are your thoughts on the fights with no audience? Oh, as a fan, I love it. I love watching it without people yelling stupid things all the time. Uh, I enjoy hearing the corners uh, and hearing the strikes land, the punches connect. I, I like um, watching it on TV with no fans, actually. What were the biggest lessons you learned from your last bout? Look, man, I, I lost that fight fair and square, but I don't know if I... I don't know if I took any lessons that I can think of, like, you know, and that I can put into thoughts. I got, I got better after the fight, like I do after every single fight, but I didn't learn any lessons. Unfortunately, I just lost the fight. Cyril Gon's a great fighter, and it's just the way she went. And sometimes you just get your ass kicked. That's how it is. Uh, how do I see Stipe versus DC3 going? That's a hard fight to call, and I'm not going to put money on it, I don't think. It's so close. Either guy can win. They're both so good. But I think DC is going to win in the third fight. I think if he... Um, Stipe's not easy to take down, but if but if, when DC got him down, he was able to keep him there for long periods of time, and I can see DC focusing more on that this time around strategy-wise and coming out with the win. And where can fans follow me on social media? I'm at Bulldozer Bozer on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Tanner Bulldozer Bozer on Facebook. So yeah, I'm Tanner the Bulldozer Bozer, and these are my uh, these are my answers to MMA Digest questions. Thanks.